And uh, so this is, the tune is called the Pencil Magic, the Magic Paintbrush. So here we go. great young musicians. Corey Goldman, Laura Quigley. But um, before we launch into what is, we're, we're heading south. We are heading south. Way south of the Canadian border, south of the Mason-Dixon line. But before we do, um, I need some volunteers. I need about seven volunteers to come up here to the stage. Bill Martin has been a moving force in Portland's old-time music scene for years and years and years, and for years and years and years, that man has um, taken up collection to keep the old-time music gathering going. And tonight, 
we're taking up the hat for him. Bill has had some pretty major health challenges and financial challenges lately, so I've got a whole bunch of hats here in a basket. I just need some volunteers to go and pick, pick them up, fan out in the audience. If you've got some spare change, please put it in and just bring those hats back up and stick them back in the basket. Thanks. bit by the fiddle bug and I was lucky enough to live just a few blocks away from a guy named Peter Hoover. Great banjo player and a, an a, a incredible um, field collector who'd gone out and visited all kinds of old folks uh, in West Virginia, Virginia, Kentucky, North Carolina. Uh, so I spent a warped childhood um, getting on my bicycle every day after school and bicycling over to Peter Hoover's house and listening to a lot of scratchy old 78 recordings and hiking around to West Virginia and going house visiting and party visiting and I was lucky enough when I got a little bit older to meet up with Tommy Jarrell who was a really great friend and a great musical mentor. So we're going to play some tunes from down there. I was starting out actually with an Ohio tune. Oh wait, nope. Nope, West Virginia tune. We'll get to Ohio sooner or later. Um, let's see. Yeah, Little Brown Hand and Sugar in the Gourd and Pretty Little Girl with a Blue Dress on. Mm -hmm. 